Daryl Lennington here from IT News Africa, and I'm here with Vino Gavinda, who's the acting CSO for Dark Fiber Africa. Great to have you here. Thank you, Daryl. So technology is improving customer experiences as well as how retailers are reaping business benefits from contextual customer engagement. Can you tell me about the changing customer landscape in the retail sector? So, Darren, um, retail is a very demanding space to be in at the moment, and uh, you know you got more demanding customers at the same time. Um, what retailers, the, the trends that we see from a retail perspective is it's all about customer experience, right? And contextual customer experience, and which means you need to have data and information to deliver those contextual experiences. Um, and what retailers are doing a lot is harnessing the data, uh, data that they have on the billing system, uh, data that they track from a customer's online behavior, um, data data that they track from loyalty types of uh, cards, and they use using this data to deliver those contextual experiences to customers, whether it's on an online or on a physical retail uh, footprint. So, how are retailers winning and retaining customers by offering personalized customer experiences? Well, uh, you know, once we have once a retailer has the really the insight around the customer when they install, for example, they can deliver a very much more contextual based offer to the client. Uh, they would know where the client is tracking uh, in, ter in terms of where they are located in the store. Uh, they have a view of what the customer bought previously. So if they, for example, a customer bought a packet of biscuits as an example, and they move up to a smart display counter in the coffee aisle, and they know the client is a coffee drinker, they could bring up a contextual offer based on the, on the client's palate taste for that for a specific type of coffee. Uh, it, and, and, it's, and because it's contextual, it resonates with the need of the customer at that time and could lead to a much more, um, you know, uh, more successful call to action to purchase a product. Okay, so can you tell me what sort of technology enables this? There's a number of technologies. Um, IoT technologies uh, enable this. So, um, you know, IoT technologies that are able to track a customer from a location perspective. Uh, and, you know, for, um, there's other te technologies installed that's available already. The Wi Fi network, uh, some retailers are using Bluetooth uh, beacon technology as well. Um, I think it's not just about the technology because the technology enables us to bring the data. I think it's also about. The, the, the way they use their data using um, artificial intelligence and you know analytics platforms you know to gain that granular type of insights and then turn that insight into a call to action that makes the retailer win. Okay, so what role does high speed connectivity play in this as well as what does Dark Fiber Africa offer in terms of this? So, Darren, when you look at these at, at these examples we talked about, right? You know, at the end of it, there's a device. You know, it could be the customer's uh, a mobile device, it could be a mobile Wi-Fi ac uh, access point, um, uh, Wi-Fi access point. It could be a beacon, um, and it could be any device. There's data that's being carried. It's being taken to a platform. You know, where analytics happens. It then delivers a call to action or a return part, which could either be rendering up a HD video stream um, content, uh, advertising content, or it could be pushing a, an, uh, a, a virtual coupon to the client's um, uh, handset, for example. And when you think about all these things, there's connectivity involved, high speed, resilient real-time connectivity, low latency connectivity. And that is what we as DFA do. We deliver the high-speed fiber-based connectivity which meets all these criteria. In addition to this, as a group, uh, we've also you know, wholly owned an IoT network, uh, uh, Squidnet, uh, which uh, delivers the Sigfox Global IoT network out here in South Africa. And you know, we enable these uh, wireless, um, low-cost, uh, uh, technologies to be deployed in the retail environment that can either be used to gain insight, but al al also to enable these call to actions that I, that I mentioned. So there we have it. That's everything that you need to know about enabling contextual customer engagements. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, John.